Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hayes and this is the Procreate Basic Series. It's already episode 21, you guys. It's been such a journey for me. And today we'll be covering all about layers. And But today's tutorial is actually quite odd because this tutorial comes from an inspiration when I do not have enough layers in my project. Sometimes I will create a project using a very large canvas size such as A2 because the project is going to be printed out and I need it to be A2 and I need the DPI to be very very high. So if you have watched my previous episode about canvas size, then you will know that A2 size does not give me a lot of layers. In fact, I ran out of layers every time and sometimes when I do animation projects as well in Procreate, I ran out of layers. So there is actually a workaround on how we can get around the limitation of layers and this is by duplicating the projects and transferring the layers from one project to another. So before I start today's tutorial, remember to comment, like and subscribe and now I will show you exactly how I transfer layers and duplicate projects. Today we're going to talk about a very odd problem that we might come across when we are using Procreate. So let's launch Procreate and get into the detail. So right here in this artwork, you can see that the size is 42cm by 59cm which is extremely huge. So if I tap on this project, this is actually a commission I did earlier on last year. And let's check the size. Okay, you can see that it's 250 dpi with a huge size and a huge pixel dimension as well. So if you have looked at my video about canvas sizes, you know that I have very limited layers. Look at the amount of layers I have. I have 18 layers only, but I have no choice because this artwork was going to be printed out by my client. So I have to work in this size. But if you see here, I have used all the layers that's available already and I do not have any more layers, I think. Or have three more layers okay so when i was working on this project i of course did not have enough layers when you come across a situation like this there's a few things you can do so the first thing you can do is you duplicate the project so now you have two projects of the same thing and then this one i'm gonna delete some stuff because i know that the other one is going to be the original one so i'm gonna delete like the cloud layer and some layers that i don't need and then after that, I'm going to work on this project to create something different. I'm going to use this project as my extension for my layers. So I'm going to create new layers and try and do something different here. So let's say I'm going to paint something like this. And I'm also going to drop in a photo. And then this color, I'm going to change it to match whatever that I just dropped in just now. So now I have myself a new background layer that I want to get back to this original painting. And I want to transfer this bunch of new layers here over to the other side. Okay, now I'm done editing like the layers for this project already. And I have a total of three new layers that I want to get back to the other project. So now I want to bring these three layers over to this project and merge it together. So what I can do is I can select the layers like this. Bear in mind that you cannot select groups so you can only select layers so if you have groups you have to select the layers independently and then when you're in the other project you can merge them back again into a group so i'm gonna select these three new layers i'm gonna drag this out here i'm gonna tap on gallery and i'm gonna tap on this project here i'm gonna tap here and i'm going to scroll down and i'm gonna drop it here and now I have my layers automatically imported into this project here. So this is how I get around working with layers limits by dragging and dropping multiple layers between projects. And this is really useful if you're running out of layers, but there are a few things you can't do. You can't drag groups and you can't drag text. You need to flatten your text layer first and you can't select any groups. So other than that, I think anything goes. Maybe you'll lose some blending modes, but you can always just apply them later on. Okay guys thank you so much for watching today's tutorial it's been such a journey already and there's just three more episodes left so remember to finish up this basic series so that you can brush up your skills in procreate before you move on to other tutorials that i will be sharing later on so tomorrow we will be talking all about the five layers setup that i commonly use for my portraits and it will be the last part of the layer series in this basic series so don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you tomorrow Tomorrow. Bye!